Hi guys, on uh, Plasma, and I had a what if, a quick what if. Did anybody make the analysis already? Close other tabs. Did anybody make the analysis? Best Plasma 6 widgets. Let's see. 33 excellent KDE Plasma widgets updated 2022. Anytime. Past month. The big release is here. It's false news. KDN Neon shows that Plasma 6 Linux is, is something truly, uh, I would say, amazing. To finish the sentence, here to improved overview. Sexy and that. Released, has arrived. Alternative to Latte's buttons app menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have indeed Latte. We've lost Latte. So, is there any alternative to it? Windows title Applet 6, for example. What's that? Keep an eye on this one, they say. Window title applet. And now we get this as an image. What is this? Not sure what that can do. Window title applet 6. Very nice for port plasma 6. Right, not well, a lot a doc anyway. So let's keep looking. What's new? Officially released. Greatest new features. Plasma 6. You More results. Released, released, released. Yeah, we do know it's released. <laughs> and it's in our state repository. Yes, we know. If we update, we just get the new stuff in. It's simple. Bugs I've encountered. Can't add widgets on Wisco. Look at that. So best thing to do with Christmas time, which is in the taskbar overlap and then we're at hotels. So no real surprise there. That's um, that's the way it is. So right mouse click. We can configure everything, we can refresh everything, create new, folder location, link to icons sort by locked, refresh, other enter edit mode. We can add all kinds of things. I've added one of the examples I've added in the screenshots is a bar down here that only contains the apps that you want to launch. Is an idea. But the widgets, right? We're concentrating on the widgets. So add widgets. Yes, there you are. And I was just scrolling through a list. And um, there are many things in here. That might be of interest for you. Let's have a look. Maybe power and battery for the laptop, guys. As you know, I rarely am on a laptop. Temporarily shows the desktop by moving windows away. That's this, guys, right? That's the same thing. Minimize all windows. Okay, networks. Not really. Memory usage, sure. Let's have a look. So that's our memory usage. I remember there was a nice graph for CPU. Group plasma widgets together. Might be interesting. Fuzzy clock. I can't read the fuzzy clock. Display configuration, maybe if you want to switch all the time. Disks and devices, this quota. A color picker. As a designer, maybe, right? If you say, I want to have. I want to know what color, what's that, close that, what color is this? Now I know, and I hope I can copy then. Or maybe it's already, let's see, sublime text. Control V, yep, it's in there. So whenever I click this one, Control V, yep, every single time. So that's interesting for the web design guys or want to change the colors of a conky or something like that. Have something available, you just click. And if you don't need it anymore, you just say, okay, whatever. And buy this again. So plasmoids, uh, yeah, I always say plasmoids. But I suppose there are widgets, enter edit mode, add widgets, and also get new widgets. So let's have a look 
I was quick in previous video. So let's stick around a little bit longer into the plasma six area. So I am typing plasma six, enter. And then you have all these things, uh, tiles, icons, only view, large view, show only installed, only updatable, to show most recent first or most downloaded first. So have a look how you like to watch it, look at it. But I'm only, <laughs> this, this is something I tried, panel transparency toggle. So by default, the transparency is not on. I, I think they need to fix it, I don't know. Um, so that's installed now. So trans, transparency, yeah, that's the one. I think we just need to drop it somewhere. I'll drop it uh, in here. And then we get a button that we don't see anymore. <laughs> but importantly, Alt N, Alt N, I need a white, yeah, I need a light wallpaper. So you see that it is indeed transparent and it's somewhere down here, but some of us do see the button to click there, but to toggle basically. And I'm on NVIDIA, so yeah, probably the reason NVIDIA is there again in the picture. But this looks nice, all T, trash. And then all T, don't like that either. All T, all T. And if you're wondering why you can't do all T, you have to make it yourself. Plasma is a minimal vanilla installation, which means more work for the user. Okay. So that's um, a neat little thing. So that works if you're into this uh, transparency thing. Be my guest, and here he is, I think. Right, that's the one. You can exit edit mode or re try to remove it. There he is. We can maybe add it here. Let's see if he shows up there. Nothing to show. <laughs> so. A little bit of programming, as I guess, from the developer, and then everything will be fine. I see the update necessary. Ah, wah, what's this? Don't tell me. Oh my god, we are going for a ride. Definitely. So, yeah, this is those times you think, okay, cross my fingers, not my fingers, then my toes, and my left toe, my right toe. Okay, let's cross fingers because Plasma is going to be updated. And Nvidia there as well. Cool, cool, cool. I'll get a new system just for free. <clears throat> 74. And I'll suppose I better go and um, reboot after this video. All right, cheers.